Hello, this is Brian Peterson, Director of Business Intelligence here at Jet Reports. Uh, in today's uh, session, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, aggregate tables. Uh, aggregate tables are a way for us to take uh, the transactional level detail that that normally exists in our ERP system and aggregate that up into summary tables. So this is actually uh, something that's uh, that's very useful and can be very interesting. Um, for uh, a lot of types of reporting where the getting down to the transactional level detail isn't, uh, isn't uh, really that relevant or necessary. And, uh, and also we can greatly reduce the amount of data that, um, that our reports take to, uh, to go through, meaning that it's easier for us to build reports. It's much, much, much faster, a lot of times almost instant for us to create reports. Uh, and setting up these aggregate tables uh, is actually something that's pretty, uh, pretty simple and straightforward to do with the Jet Data Manager. Now, in order to set up an aggregate table, uh, the first thing that we have to do is uh, identify a, uh, a transaction table, for example, that we want to base this aggregate, uh, aggregated table off of. In this case, I'll go ahead and pick my posted sales transactions table. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and right click on the table. I'm going to go to advanced and I'm going to go to add aggregate table and it's going to pull up my uh, add aggregate table window here where I can go ahead and give the aggregate table a name. And let's just say for the purpose of this example that I want um, I want to go ahead and, and aggregate my, my uh, sales by month by salesperson or by customer or something like that. Uh, so I can go ahead and just call this monthly sales. And the next thing I need to do is pick my group buys. Now for those of us that are not technical, the group buy is really the just the buys. I want to see my total sales by month by salesperson by customer. Right. So if if uh, in a given month there were a lot of invoices for a particular sales for person for a particular customer, it will roll all of those up into one row. Right. So it might take uh, if we had a certain customer that we had 50 invoices for a particular month for a particular salesperson, there would be one line that just showed the total of that. Right. You can kind of see where I'm going with this. It's very, uh, very useful. Uh, for creating summary level uh, reporting here. Now the group by here, this is where I'm just going to pick the fields that I want this to group by. So if I give the example of by month, by uh, by salesperson, by customer, I'm going to come in here and first I'll go ahead and pick my posting date. And uh, dates are special, right? Because with the dates we'll be able to pick the group by type as far as how we want to roll this up. So I'm going to go ahead and do the, uh, the posting date. Uh, here I'm going to do year. I'll show you how this works. And I'm going to go ahead and pick the group by type of year. So this field is basically going to have the years for uh, for all of my transactions. So I'll go ahead and you can add the date fields multiple times. So I'll add posting date uh, once again, and I'll do month, right? That's what I'll call it. And I'll go ahead and come in here and pick month. And then uh, I mentioned I wanted to do it by salesperson, so I can pick salesperson code. I can just leave that. When I pick some anything other than dates, I can't pick, uh, click anything in the drop down here. It's just value because it'll just aggregate by salesperson. Uh, and then I can go one step further. And let's say that I want to get it by uh, sell to customer as well, All right? And I can just call this uh, you know customer number whatever it is that I want it to be. And this is going to be essentially how it's going to condense this information for me. So now out of the all, uh, all of the records, I think there's a few hundred thousand records that I have, it's just going to give me the unique combination of the year, the month, the salesperson code, and the customer. Um, and then in the section below for the aggregate, this is where I need to tell it, or I can tell it, um, the, the amounts that I want to you know, sum up or, or give me the, the number of records or whatever it may be for. So here, I'm going to go ahead and just pick... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and here and I'm just going to pick my sales amounts. I'll go ahead and tell it to sum. I'll go ahead and pick my, uh, we'll say cost amount. That's in here somewhere. And I'll go ahead and sum this up as well. And uh, if there was anything else I wanted to do, if I wanted to know the number of uh, transactions or invoices or something like that, I could do that as well. Let me just say I want to know how many invoices there were. I can go to document number, right? I can call this number... All right, number of invoices, for example, or number of documents. Uh, and in here, I can go in a, and tell it like a distinct count, right? So how, tell me how many different documents were there. So there's some interesting things that we can do in here. And once I do this, that's really it. I'm done. Um, uh, so if I look at my posted sales transactions table, 
I'm just going to preview this and click count. Right now I have about 260,000 transactions in that particular table. Now once I come in here and uh, deploy and execute my uh, monthly sales uh, aggregation table here, I'll see that that 260,000 transactions is now condensed down to uh, approximately 6,000. Right, so uh, so any type of reporting I do against this table is going to be extremely fast, um, and it has good aggregated information. Uh, now, one of the uh, some of the things that I can do just to show you some some extra things that we can do here. This is just like any other table. So I can come in here if I have um, you see here that I have my uh, my cost amount, I have my sales amount. Let's say I want to have one for profit. I can go ahead and uh, add a custom field here called profit amounts. Uh, the data type I'll pick, I'll go ahead and just make it numeric out to uh, 20 decimals. That's what NAV uses as standard. And right here, I'll go ahead and I'll move this next to my other amounts. And I'll right click, I'll add a transformation, I'll add a custom transformation, and I'll do a simple sales amount minus cost amount here. All right. More that I'll do here, my am so 2015, and this would be 11. Um, let's say that I want to get the actual name of this. Right, so I want it to say 2015 November or something like that. Um, I can do a lookup from my date table, where I can come in and grab my, uh, you know, my year month name here, and I could drag this down and drop it on my uh, monthly sales table here to create a uh, a lookup. I'll say I want to call this month name, and uh, then I can just go ahead and specify my join criteria, where I'm basically just going to say my year number equals my year. And my, uh, let's see here, uh, I'll do my month number equals my month. All right. So just some things that, to show you some examples of how we can add to this particular table. Some things that aren't, uh, you know, there natively. And now I have, uh, you know, an even more robust table to, uh, to create my reports out of. If I preview this, let's take a look at some of this information just so we can see it. So I can make this bigger. Uh, so it takes up uh, some more space on the screen, easier for everybody to see. Uh, let me say that I want to see all of my records here. And what I can do, right, if I want to group this up by salesperson just to look at it, all right, I can see that uh, here I have um, what I'm basically looking at here is this. Um, I'll go ahead and move my month name up. So it's right next to everything else, even easier to read for us here. And uh, what we're going to look at is this. So I can see right in here that I have my sales uh, for um, a particular salesperson, right? I have a few different rows for January right here. There are some more down below. Uh, but for this particular customer, and this is basically saying that um, for this salesperson, for this customer, for this month, there were a total of 26,000 in sales, 14,000 in cost, 11,000 in profit, and there were three documents here, right? And so, uh, so that way I can go and and I actually see some interesting things here. I can actually see some cases where there might be some negative numbers. So maybe some uh, some details that we could look into and see. Oh, well, interesting. We actually. Uh, lost money in this particular month for this particular customer. So, but again, I just wanted to to show you some examples of how we can use aggregated tables. They're they're very easy to use. The functionality I'm showing you was added in Jet Enterprise 2016. We made it even easier to create these aggregated tables. Uh, but I hope that you found this useful and look forward to seeing you in a future session. Take care.